Hello beautiful blockchain people, that's me again at CryptoSpine, this is my next cryptocurrency market over it. So let's start, let's have a look at the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see the market has recorded a small change for the last 24 hours, I would say that the consolidation continues. And of course, tomorrow on Monday we will analyze the price chart of Bitcoin, also uh, usually throughout the work days the price changes and the price dynamics are much more uh, much higher that's why today because it's sunday let's summarize and let's figure out what the key news is from the current week so let's start with uh, of course the so-called bitcoin day so on september 7th on tuesday officially el salvador became the first country to adopt Bitcoin or to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. So that was the so-called Bitcoin day. And everybody talked about it actively during the first half of this week. So this is really a historical event. I think that this is a game changer. So no doubt that we as cryptocurrency enthusiasts understand very well that this is a very significant event, not only for the global financial system, but for the humanity as well. So congratulations once again, Bitcoin and crypto community. After El Salvador, Panama announced that they will uh, create a bill to make Bitcoin legal tender as well. So there are such kind of proposals. So we see that many countries from this region and not only from these regions, they keep their eyes on uh, El Salvador. And of course, uh, people now are curious which will be the next country to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. So there are many speculations. Let's wait and see. Also, let's wait and see when it will take place because uh, probably now many countries and uh, they, uh, jurisdictions, they will uh, keep an eye on the, let's say, process of adoption and accepting Bitcoin in El Salvador and they will learn some lessons. They will make some improvements and adopt it. So no doubt we will see uh, let's say a second, a third, and a, uh, so on country accepting Bitcoin. So it's just a matter of time. And uh, also, if we have a look at the global news, later, one, uh, two days later, the Ukrainian par parliament has adopted also the draft law on virtual assets, legally recognizing Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in the country for the first time, of course, if we analyze their, let's say, draft, uh, it, it is actually uh, relating to the crypto exchanges, crypto mining, to, to cryptocurrencies, but they will not accept, let's say, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as legal tender, but actually they will legalize them. So this is really something cool. And I am really very curious because uh, Ukraine is not far away from the place I live, so they are also in Europe. And I want to say that probably it will uh, have an impact on, let's say, the cryptocurrency industry in general in Europe. I'm just curious uh, what uh, reaction the European Union will have. So to uh, summarize the news, I just want to say that that was uh, the week of the so-called uh, accepting adoption Bitcoin, so the very beginning on a country level. So this is something massive and we will see many more news like this in my view. Next, now let's talk about some, let's say, events or price changes relating to the cryptocurrency prices. So, for example, we have Avalanche recording a very high, let's say, intraday increase. Also, if we check the price charts of the cryptocurrencies, this is the green price chart of Solana. Then we have, for example, uh, here uh, Algorand and so on. Of course, uh, if we check some uh, the news, I, I, I would like to highlight this article that uh, with the following title that Algorand price doubles in two days as Ethereum rivals ascend. So these are actually the Ethereum, uh, the Ethereum, let's say, rivals such as Avalanche, Polkadot, Solana, Cardano, of course, and all this proof of stake base ecosystem for smart contracts and decentralized applications. So definitely I, I expect uh, many of them to 
continue their increase and probably in the next couple of years we will see them challenge Ethereum so it's uh, going to be really very interesting but from a price perspective let's say uh, definitely these cryptocurrencies these Ethereum rivals I think they will continue to outperform most of the let's say subsectors of the cryptocurrencies in the next couple of months so that was uh, uh, the news I wanted and the events I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your point of view on the news throughout this week as a comment below. I wish you a very wonderful weekend, a wonderful Sunday, of course. Good luck in the financial markets and I hope to see you in the next one. It was me again at CryptoSpot.